like what are you now working on to, to really keep the edge you know you know in crypto there are like a lot of different interesting things happening was, especially with decentralized exchanges uh people try to reinvent how the markets work even how to match like a you know the seller and the buyer um one thing that crypto already um invented it was like a while ago almost 10 years ago they invented this perpetual futures and it's like a future contract that never ends usually like a future has like a maturity date when the future expires but uh in crypto they found a way to create a perpetual futures because it's more fun for people can you explain it's like in simple terms yeah. like a market analogy that you yeah, sure. before so the if the just let's talk about the just you know some asset like let's say tomatoes right mm -hmm. you just go and buy or sell them for cash there's no leverage nothing you just you know had like a Swiss 100 Swiss francs you buy like five tomatoes expensive uh, egos but yeah <laughs> yeah but live in Switzerland <laughs> uh so futures is a little bit more different you don't buy tomatoes you buy like kind of contracts it's some like you know pieces of paper that tells you that at some point uh, which is called maturity date or like expiry date uh you get those tomatoes mm -hmm. but you you can you can sell and buy those papers at any price you want but what keeps this price close to the price of the actual tomatoes is that that it's assigned to the some date you know at some point you'll have to you'll have to get tomatoes to 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 exchange your um your papers um perpetual futures is the same but there's no date and then people asking how do you attach the price to the price of the asset if there's no maturity date if there's no expiry date and they um it's quite technical here like they introduce something called um funding rate 